Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be showing you my eyeshadow palette collection. I want to start off with some palettes that I don't reach for too often and then we'll get on to my favorites. A palette that I don't use Actually, I think I've only got into this palette maybe a couple of times. Is this Happy Birthday palette by NYX. The shades are really pretty. Um, I just, I don't know. There's something about it. I just feel like the textures are a little dry. They do blend out pretty nicely. The next palette that is... Something I don't really grab is the Nudie Patootie from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I don't know, I think the reason why I don't really gravitate towards this palette is because, see these metallics? This one right here in Jaybird, this one in Unnatural, and this one Exposed. I was so excited when she released this palette. I was one of the first people to jump on right then at two o'clock to hurry up and place my order. It came to around $50 because I didn't get free shipping. I didn't spend more than $75. But when it came, I was so excited. I opened it up and these shades were crumbly and they were falling out of the pans. So I panic naturally because I spent a lot of money. I hurry up and I press them down with my finger and then I wiped it off and I was so excited. I took pictures, but I just didn't feel like that was right. So I sent her customer service a email saying, hey, this is what happened. And they said, well, we need pictures of it before what it looked like when it first arrived. Well, I can't give it to them because I freaked out and I hurry up and I press them down. My bad. So anyways, I don't know. They are pretty, but I think since I've bought this, I have fallen more in love with colors and I think I just feel a little bit salty about the palette. The next palette that I don't really grab is this beautiful Urban Decay Naked Heat. And it really is beautiful. My boyfriend bought this for me on our dating anniversary. He went into Macy's all by himself and he bought this palette and I couldn't believe it because this is expensive. I was so excited. But for some reason, I just don't ever want to grab it. I don't know if it's because it's bulky, because I know it was so expensive. I also don't really care for how the the pans are like in this rectangle. I know that that's really picky, but I don't know. I just never grab it. The next palette that I don't really grab too often is my e.l.f. and Christian Serrano, I believe is how you say it. But it, it is so cute. I did take it camping with me one time. I know that's kind of silly, but this shade is so beautiful. This one is a bit patchy and dry. It needs to be built up, but it still looks patchy. It kind of blends away, weird. That one I haven't touched. That one isn't as vibrant on the eye as it is in the pan. It's kind of sad, but I'm gonna show you this one and this one. So here are the swatches of the two shades. See what I mean about that blue one? In the pan to me, I thought it was gonna be more of like a, I don't know, like a medium kind of, a blue that's just gonna pop on the lid. And that's just one swatch. I don't know, it just kind of looks murky. It wasn't what I was expecting. It's still pretty, um, but look at that green. That green is just so beautiful. A palette that was given to me by a friend is this Rustic Rose by Pinky Rose Cosmetics. 
and you can see I like stepped on it. Yeah, really bad. But look at these shades. I kind of feel like there's some shades that are like overlapping because when you put them on the eye, they kind of look similar. The yellows, these lighter yellows, these oranges, and some of the brownish red shades. My biggest problem with them is these shimmers. I don't know, when I pick them up on a brush, they like really don't show. They look nice right here. But when I put them on the eye, they're just really dry and they make my eyelids look dry. And like this one, it just doesn't do a lot for me. Here's some swatches. I also wanted to show you guys this red. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Maybe I should try applying them to like a sticky eyeshadow primer not being set and using my finger. Maybe that'll make them really pop because they do look beautiful swatched. A palette that I've used a few times but that I haven't used in a while. I really should. I got this on a on Mercari in a bundle. And these mattes, they actually blend like a dream. This one is beautiful. This one kind of the same thing as the pinky rose it's just kind of I don't know bleh so here's swatches see what I mean about that middle shade right there well this middle one the coppery shade it's gorgeous these two they look pretty in swatches again I don't know my iPhone camera is just really making everything look so pretty but they're just really dry so again, I think I need to retry them in a different way, not use a brush. And maybe if I use a brush, use a setting spray. I don't know, I just haven't had any luck. This little palette right here was gifted to me from my sister. And it's the Wet n Wild Fire. I am an Aries. And... I haven't really played around with this too much, and I should because the colors are stunning. They are a little close, again, but like these two reds, see how close they look? Let's see if I can get it to show. One looks more satin. This one looks more satin. This one has more of a sheen. So that middle one right there, that was the one that was more satin and I had to rub it twice to get it to kind of sit down. Um, it was a bit powdery, so maybe it's meant. But you see what I mean about how the colors look pretty similar? And then I swatched that orange for you. It's a cute little palette, I need to use it. I think it would be so great for the fall. And really, I love all of these palettes. The one I don't use the most is this Zodiac, and I think the reason why, I love the BH Cosmetics um, Baked Formula. I love it. People who are scared of baked formulas, I really think that you should give it a try. I will do an all shimmer look. I actually did one today using the Solar Flare palette, which I'll talk about in a minute. I'll use all shimmers, blend it up into the crease, use it as a liner on the lid, wing it out, bottom lash line, inner corner, everything. They are wonderful. The mattes in this palette are fantastic, but I don't know what it is. I don't feel creative when I look at this palette. I think that I need to try doing a um, palette bingo with it. Like my friend Annette's makeup corner, she did one and it was so much fun to watch. This highlighter right here, it's really white really glittery but yeah it is a cute palette I just need to try to figure out how to get more creative with it try to speed through some of these this is one that I also got on Mercari this is when I first started trying out makeup um, I really like this for a transition shade um, I don't really touch these really light shades. I don't know. But these 
all right here. I've used maybe a tiny bit to darken up the outer corner, but I don't know. I just don't really gravitate towards them. These ones are stunning. So if you're looking for an overall neutral palette with some foils or metallics, this one is actually really good quality. And I've heard Samantha March talk about this. This is one of her favorite neutral palettes. Oh, I forgot to talk about this one. This one, look at it, it looks so dirty, so sorry. I actually never use this. I got this in my first BoxyCharm, which was the beginning of this year. Um, you think that these would be mattes, but they're more of a satin, I don't know. I actually love a satin. See what I mean on the texture? See how it has that sheen to it? I know I'm not the only one who thinks this. But anyways, what I did the other day was I threw this one in the crease and I put this one all over the lid and kind of over up into my crease and brought it on the lower lash line. It looked stunning. The shade that everybody gravitates towards is this blue one right here. And it is gorgeous. It is really pretty, but it's very crumbly and it does have a lot of fallout. I think a lot of these shades actually have a lot of fallout, honestly, but I don't know. I just don't really gravitate towards it. This, I do not like matte blacks with glitter in them. Am I the only one? Anyways, this one right here, I actually won in my only giveaway I've ever won. I was so excited. I went camping and I came back and she had messaged me and she said that I won the giveaway. And she's actually an MUA for BH Cosmetics and Feral Cosmetics. And I just thought it was so awesome. Her name's Elizabeth Suge, I believe. S-U-G. Anyways, as you can see, I have swatched this a million times. I have actually wore it a couple of times. I did a green look with it. I love this green shade right here. Oh my god. But I like the concept. Oh, I think it's cute. All right, guys, we're getting down to it. These are the palettes that I gravitate towards the most. So I'm going to talk about this one. I found it at Ross. It was only $7.99. And I just like to use it for, like, crease work. Sometimes I'll mix these. Um, I've used this a little bit on the brow bone in these shades. But yeah, I just, I think the reason why I use it more is because of the price I paid. I don't know. I just love it. Another neutral palette. I bought this on Sephora. Gosh, what was it? It was only $20. Sorry, I'm using my phone to film this. Don't have a camera yet. Oh no, look it. Did I just do that? Oh, maybe I did. Oops. Gosh darn it. But I love this palette. It's got the matte black. I've done like a little wing or smudged it on the top lash line. I love this for a transition. And then I'll go in with one of my other colorful palettes. I don't know. I just love that neutral brown color. Um, I haven't really used these two shades. I have used this one for in the inner corner, the brow bone. It's really nice. I've used this one a little bit on the lower lash line but I just think it is such a cute palette. It's a petite of the naked one. Super cute. A palette given to me by my sister, Kim, again, which she has a YouTube channel and hers is Random Kimmy Cat. She gave me this. I guess she just wasn't using it. You guys, I love this formula. I have done the most beautiful brown smoky eyes and I'm just gonna swatch all of them for you oh excuse my finger it's a little bit dirty all right here we go a palette that doesn't swatch as well as the other ones that I don't like go figure um but that brown it's a matte I think it might be a satin matte, but I'm pretty sure it's a matte. It's lovely. I haven't used a green very much. I did put a little bit on the lower lash line and it did the job fine. I like this ivory white champagne-y shimmer. This copper brown shimmer is stunning. I love it. 
for a brown smoky eye. It's just so cute. And this is the only Laura Geller eyeshadow formula I've ever tried. Actually, the only formula I ever tried until recently when I got her blush in my BoxyCharm. I really like her stuff so far. Here is another one that I got on Mercari. It's The Wild at Heart by BH Cosmetics. And I don't think that they have this one on their website anymore. I think they have the one that says Wild Child on it. But look at that purple pink and this purple. Look at this pink. Oh my God. I love it. I've This one is a little chunky. It's almost like a topper. I don't know, it's just, it's not my fave, I'm gonna be honest, but I'm gonna do some swatches of these and show you guys. All right, you guys, so the funny thing about this palette is it's very dry when you touch them. It almost has a scratchy sound. I apply these with my finger. I have used a fluffy uh, brush and they work wonderful as long as you use a primer and I don't set the primer but I did some swatches and this was only me swirling my finger around the top a little bit and one swipe. Look at that. And this is how they look on my eyes too. No joke. So that bottom one is right here and it's, I don't know, it's like a dark, dark black, navy blue. Then you got this vibrant pink, the purple, and then the other purple pink right there. Oh my goodness. And then that's the last one I swatched right here on the top. They are so beautiful. I highly recommend BH Cosmetics Baked Formula, which you will see here in a minute. Okay, so here are my other two BH Cosmetics Baked Formulas. They're 18 pan shadow eyeshadow palettes. But I wanted to show you. BH Formula, their pinks and their purples, their reds, they do stain my lids. Like, honestly, they do but it's worth it, in my opinion. So I bought this one on Mercari, and it is so gorgeous. This, I think, has to be one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes. Like, I know that's crazy, but this one is so beautiful. What's another one that I like? Oh, I like Comet a lot and Meteor. They're very similar, but I think this one's more smooth, and this one has a little bit more glitter on top. This orange and this red, whoa. I did an eye look on my Instagram if you want to go check it out. I use those colors together. These darker shades right here, they're beautiful. And then you got a couple over here. I did swatches on my Instagram of this whole palette as well. It's so pretty. It's still available on BH. The next one, I bought this one when I bought my Zodiac palette. It looks kind of boring, but the shadows in this are amazing. So, I actually did a look today using Fireball, which is an orange. I used Wavelength above it to kind of blend out that orange. What else did I use? Oh, I used this with an angled flat brush for a liner, and what else did I use? I think I used Impact on the lower lash line. They're beautiful, and like these reds over here, I'll show you swatches. I did swatches on my Instagram, but I'm just gonna show you the colors that I put on my eye today. I may insert a clip at the end of my eye look. Again, one swipe across my hand and look at these like that purple it's so different it's like a dark muted brownie plum purple <laughs> I know weird description but oh my god I love these these ones right here are good for inner corner but they're more of like a sheer kind of I don't want to say glittery. They're more of a sheer shimmer. They're really pretty, but all the rest of them are like, bam, in your face, gorgeous. Alrighty, this one, I haven't used that much. I'm kind of sad. I look at, I still have this, but I did, I have played around with it a tiny bit, but look at this palette. Is this not stunning? This is showing a little bit darker 
on camera, but really when I look at it, it's a bit lighter. Um, these, the pans are big, but at least it's a nine pan palette. I'm just gonna swatch these for you really quick. I wanna show you guys what they look like. I'm gonna do a couple of mattes. This one's a buildable yellow. It's not gonna come off bam on your eyelid, but it is buildable. And then this one, I don't know, it's kind of patchy, but it's still beautiful. I think that if you pack it on first and kind of like shape it out, you can blend it out lightly and it won't like come off too patchy, if you know what I mean. Okay. So you see what I mean about that purple? I just swirled it a little bit and swiped it once. It's beautiful, I think it'll do the job. I haven't really like used it a whole lot for blending and kind of darkening up a look. Um, but like I said, I just haven't really used it a lot. I have swatched it a couple of times and it just looked patchy. I think in a review I seen that it was a little bit patchy for others, but some people can really make it work. Um, look at those shimmers. Are you kidding me? And then that yellow. The yellow is just kind of, it's a buildable yellow. It's a little sheer. You really got to pack it on. I would put a light primer down. Um, make sure that you conceal your eyelids and then pack it on. Like I said, I would do the purple and then kind of blend it out. Beautiful palette. Palette that I actually just recently got is the ColourPop. Mar palette. I want to move over here where my ring light is. So it has this matte cobalt blue. It's got like a teal medium blue metallic and then it's got this seafoam green um, shimmer and then some copper. This is like a, I wouldn't call it a champagne. It's more like a peachy gold. It's beautiful. A bronzy color. You've got a nice transition shade. You have a dark matte brown and then a little bit of a deeper um, bronze shade than that top one. Maybe that top one is a little bit more copper. Um, my first ever little video I posted on Instagram of me doing my makeup, I actually used this. However, I don't think I touched the blues, which is really funny. But this is a wonderful quality palette. You can find tons of reviews all over YouTube. It's quite lovely. Continuing with ColourPop, this is my little ColourPop palette. They get dirty easily, but I clean them off with a makeup wipe and they work just fine. Some of these are discontinued. Sadly, actually, I think most of them are. But I asked um, my friends in the beauty community on Instagram <clears throat> which palette I should use. And it was between this one and another one. I can't remember. They really wanted me to play around with these. And so I did like um, a coral pinky shimmer. I used a little bit of the brown. And then I used this with my flat angled brush and did it as a winged liner and it is like a metallic greeny gold oh my goodness they actually gave me this one this was my very first ever single eyeshadow they gave it to me for free because my first ColourPop um, order came in really late and it's so pretty I posted a look um, it was like my editorial look on Instagram using it and it's so sad. It's like a cornflower blue. Oh my gosh, I got eyeshadow all over this. Oh well. It really is gorgeous. I'll go ahead and swatch these. All right, so there you go. I'm going to move over towards my light a little bit. So it's coming off darker, that blue. But again, it, it's like this beautiful cornflower blue. I wouldn't really call it periwinkle. Mm, might be a little bit. It doesn't really look purple though. But it's just gorgeous and I cannot wait to keep on playing with these. This is glass bowl. Oh, it's kind of soft feeling, but I have used it with a brush. It's that um, brown blue shift duochrome. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I bet you with this all over with this just on the lid would be stunning. A boxy charm palette that is absolutely stunning is the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe 
volume one. So it has four mats. It's like a beautiful kind of, I don't know, I'd call it like an orangey mustard. And then you got these that are kind of similar. This one's a little bit lighter and then your matte brown. But these metallics, like these two right here, are my jam. I really do like this one. It's kind of dark, so I gotta figure out. I have to figure out overall how to do, use more dark shimmers. And then this one is just, to me, it's just kind of standard, but again, it does have a nice pop. Like, look at those. So here are the swatches of those two that I, I wouldn't call them boring shimmers, but oh my God, look at them. They're so beautiful. They're just the ones that I don't really touch that often. However, that champagne color, I need to use that more. Oh my goodness. But I would say the only thing that I wish this palette had was a long mirror. I would turn it sideways and kind of use it like this. Am I the only one that feels like that? But I'm not mad at it. The quality of these mattes and shimmers are amazing and I cannot wait for her to come out with more. Very favorite last palettes right here. The Magic Mini. So the reason why she calls them minis is because in comparison to her regular um, eyeshadow pan sizes. So this is her regular eyeshadow pan size. Now imagine all of these, how many shadows are here? 16. All of these shadows coming in this size. I've seen some of my favorite YouTubers say they've, they have this one in the regular size and they say they love the color story. They love the shadows, but because how big it is, they don't ever reach for it. So that's kind of sad and I get it. Big palettes are kind of you know, tedious to grab and they take up a lot of space. But yeah, so I just want to show you the comparisons. And then the reason why I really like this is because it's got some neutrals, but look at these blues. This is like, you know, it's coming off kind of different on camera, but this one is a very, very light blue kind of silver metallic. It's stunning. And then another one that I like, oh my gosh, look at this one. It's like a blue purple duochrome like oh my goodness and watch this I know I always watch the shimmers I'm sorry I'm gonna swatch these I'm also gonna swatch some of the mattes my hand is getting so stained from all of the shadows but here are those shimmers that I was showing you so beautiful. And then a few mattes. That would be that one in that one right there. Focus. And then the dark one, that one first, look at the side. See, it's kind of got this bluish green kind of dark navy. And then this one is more of like a really, really dark purple. The funny thing about her matte formula is it's actually kind of dry, but they blend like a dream. And last but certainly not least is my all-time favorite palette. I freaking love this palette. I've used, I think, all of these shades. I did a review on my Instagram of just swatches. But these mattes are buildable. They're creamy. They're pigmented. They blend beautifully. This one up here is kind of a satin, so it looks kind of shimmery, but it doesn't really have that wow factor, but it blends very nicely. I've used it as a transition shade. Look at this blue. I used this blue on the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Besides my finger being all stained, but it looks pretty true to color. This is a matte, and it's so pretty. I just love these. Look at these. Look at this gold. It's so yellow, yellow. And then you've got like your green and then you've got like a beautiful gold. You've got a champagne. You got a vibrant purple. Carnival color, but to me it's like a dark gray granite color. You got some stuff to do with smoky eye. Like this is my all time favorite. And I believe it's limited edition. I know it's still available. And part of me wants to buy another one but I'm trying to talk myself out of it. They're coming out with 
or they just came out with the Royal palette in this same format. Um, same 20, you know, 20 pans, same layout. I'm sure it's got a mirror, but the shades are more neutral with a few pops of color. I might get it because I love the formula and if it's the same formula, definitely going to get it. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any different opinions on these shadows, palettes, color stories, if you think that there's any techniques that I need to try, are there any color combos that are just amazing within these palettes? Are there some palettes similar to the ones that I love? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to chat with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.